First come up, obviously, you know you want to look to see if it's sealed or not. Um, make sure the bolts aren't rusted. Um, the first thing I do is turn the water off. All right, tidy lefty Lucy. Um, and then flush whatever's down here down the pipe. Obviously, you're not going to get all the water out. And most of the time, you're probably going to leak some water on the floor, so I'd recommend keeping your wipes close by. Um, you got these little white caps. Sometimes you don't, but they're on each side. Try not to break them. Typically, they, they do break, though. Um, if they do, I don't, it's not a huge deal, but you can go over here and just use your channel locks to try to pop them off. Like I said, try not to break them. Yeah, I would always keep a good supply of them right here if you do. Um, so next you'll come around here. There'll be little bolts on the side. I don't know if y'all can see, but they're right there. And uh, just take your channel locks and try to ease them around. Um, you got to be kind of gentle with them. If you clamp down too tight and turn it, it turns the entire bolt itself. And then it never really is going to come loose. Well. Whoever put this in, uh, cut the top of the bolts off. Then you've been fiddling with this while you've been sitting here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we might not get we might not get nowhere with this point. We do have a second toilet. To the other bathroom. There's that one. Um if you got bad memory, how to lay out your pieces like this, how you took them off so you can put them back on the same way. Oh my God. Whoever put this in should be fired. Don't worry, we just do this for everybody. We might not be able to reinstall Benny Sitter. <laughs> <laughs> Just, <laughs> so much for a training video. <laughs> Chris, you got a towel? Disconnect the water line. All right. Always disconnect your yeah, water always line. always do that. Make sure you turn the water off first. Right. He just wanted to show you what not to do first. All right. <laughs> All right. This is why you don't want to do this. Sometimes uh, if the valve's rusted as well, I would say it might not be a good idea because I have turned these and then it, it doesn't actually shut off. And now you got water going everywhere, your line shut off, and it's hard to reconnect it while it's going. Um, if that's the case, maybe go down there and just turn the main water shut off for a little bit. Uh, be careful when you lift this, because if you damage the wax ring, um, then you're in trouble. It won't seal properly, and then you have issues. So it's basically, I don't know if y'all have seen it after it's pulled, that's what it looks like. Uh, this is your, of course, this right here is your wax ring. Um, these bolts do slide right here. 
Um, so if you needed to reposition them, if you did what I did and you knocked the bolts out of place, um, just try to get them back where they're parallel with each other. Um, so that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, and then of course run your water, run your scope, um, and then try to put this back as uh, best you can. Um, now guys, here's what a wax ring looks like. Always, if you're gonna pull a yes. pellet, always have one of these on your truck. You may not use it, and I definitely, I, that one's cleaned up, you can put it right back on and seal it like it is, but if you have to, if it comes off and it's broken on pieces, just this just peels off of it and it's, it's not dirty, it's just wax. So, and then it opens up, as you can see, that's just the other side of it. This peels all off and you just put that face down, just like that one looks there, and, and then you just replace the ring. Have you a, I, ideally have like a putty knife with you as well, where you can clean it all off. Wear gloves, obviously, but yeah, um, and then just, but most of the time, how many times, Tristan, nine percent of the time you don't have to replace the wax ring? I've never messed up a wax ring. Yeah. So just be patient with it. <laughs> yeah. Take your so time. Not that yeah. Never. Yeah. So, but always have one of these. If these are three bucks, have them in the car. I got a little five gallon bucket. Uh, just get your five gallon bucket, put all your tools in it, all the, everything related to pulling the tool. If you do mess it up, don't say anything. <laughs> Seal the base. No. Yeah. A little bit of All right. Um, the bet. I, I mean, common sense. But the best way to do this without messing up is kind of just stay center when you're getting it, and then just sit over the top. Like. So you always got a nice 45 degree here in the thigh. Mm -hmm. I'm well. I'm just saying to Mike, go to grab it. My coach always told you to hit parallel. Unless you yeah. uh, your coach's obviously never installed tires. <laughs> right. 45. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I started, like, if the wax ring was messed up,